All right, so it's Sunday at eight o'clock in the morning and um, I'm trying to incorporate this new routine um, and really trying to get my schedule back on balance while also maintaining sort of like a peaceful, calm energy throughout the week, which is something that I struggle to do um, unless I become intentional about it. So throughout the week, I tend to have a fairly good schedule already that I've implemented, but I want to kind of level set and kind of start from ground zero. Um, and Sundays, I really enjoy Sundays. It's quiet. It's um, peaceful. It, it feels like a rest day. Um, so I think Sunday mornings, I might try to read a book. So I'm going to read this. And then after this, we'll see what else I get into. Still mad light. What'd you get? Like pancakes, eggs, and bacon. And so we tried this new diner down the street that we didn't know was there. It was like a little old school spot. Um, only took cash. Old, like older people it was were running cute. it. It was cute for sure. Oh, like, this don't look good. <laughs> Ain't even cut it in half. What? It okay, look it could, right, it could look worse. Right, it could be worse. Let me put the little salt pepper ketchup. <laughs> I can barely get a bite though because all this bread is here. They did a good job. You did an okay job. All right, so this one I'm gonna freeze for tomorrow. And this one I'm gonna have today. So it's 11 o'clock, a little after 11. And so most days at 11 is when I eat lunch, but I've been intermittent fasting for, I think about a year, a little over a year now. So yeah, it's a little lunch break. Yeah, so normally on Mondays, I think this week in particular is actually the one of the slowest it's been in a while. I don't have any shoots this week so far which that can change, that tends to change pretty quickly, like anything can come up. So so it's good that this week is pretty light so I can catch up on some edits. This morning I was just answering emails, kind of getting caught up on like what has been going on over the weekend. So it took me a little bit to kind of go through my emails. I had like 20 or 30 new emails that I had to like just sift through and see what's important, take care of some things. Um, 
so now I'm eating lunch and so I kind of have a better understanding of like what the rest of my Monday is going to look like, which for me is a little bit of editing and then brainstorming about this documentary that we're doing. So January 1st, 2024, we moved into this office space and it has been one of the biggest catalysts for like me having a work-life balance. So before I would just work from home, which a lot of us are used to, it has its benefits, um, but all my gear would be at my house. I would have no room for anything in my, like everything would be under my bed or in my closet. And it kind of was starting to get a little clunky, a little crowded. Here, obviously the equipment is sort of all here in one place, one central location. Yeah, aside from that, like the work-life balance has been phenomenal. Like I can work when I'm here and then when I'm home, I can figure that out, which I've been doing over the past few weeks. But even when I got the office, I was still kind of trying to maximize my productivity. So I would try to get here as early as I could, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., and trying to squeeze as much productivity out of myself as I can throughout a day. And no matter how early I came into the office, I still had tons of stuff to do. There was always more work. So I would come here at six, I would try to bike or drive and then force myself to stay here from like six or 7 a.m. to like five or 6 p.m. And then I just got exhausted, I got distracted. My motivation to do work sort of dwindled. And so for the past uh, maybe two months, um, I decided to kind of try to stick to a 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. work schedule for myself and kind of have the company operate on that uh, schedule because obviously we're a small company. I own the company and, and instead of trying to fit into this nine to five work style, like create a work-life balance that is healthy, that is flexible, that works for me. Um, and we're not the kind of company that has phone calls ringing like every day. So I feel like we can get the stuff that we need to get done from 10 to four. And that gives me enough time to focus on things beforehand, like going to the gym, like stretching, meditating, all those things. And then it gives me a little bit more time at the end of the day to work on videos like this, to work on like reading, to work on uh, just relaxing as well, playing video games or whatever I want to do. I'm more productive here because I only have to work for a compressed amount of time. Then I can take breaks. Um, so it's it's been a very helpful process, kind of getting my work-life balance in order. So I'm gonna just finish this meal and then get back to it, I guess. All right, so Ricardo got me out here playing pickleball. Let's see who wins. Baby, there's no use in being a part of the crowd. It's hard to plan for the future while enjoying the now. Things get a little crazy, you can find your way out. All right, right now it's 10 9. I love, we'll see if, we'll see if I win it. Ain't nothing I can't I don't rely on love, 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 love. Only you can save you, only you can play you. So I won the first game, Ricardo won the second game. Yeah. So now we're trying to break the tie. So we'll see who wins. I feel great cause my life is amazing. Yes, I feel great cause my life is Baby, there's no use in being part of the He's lying. He's lying, man. Uh, two games, Kenny. One game, Ricardo. So maybe next time, Ricardo. Mm. Yeah, there won't be a next time. Maybe the next one. We got chicken, greens, and rice. Smells good. All right, so I got an email while I was in the gym this morning 
informing us that we did not get the police contract. So the police contract was gonna be a big deal for us. Um, it was a $1.2 million contract. They were doing like a whole marketing revamp and recruiting campaign. And so there was five companies that we were going in with on this. And our piece of the pie would have been around like $130,000, $140,000 per year, which would have been like a huge influx of money for us. That would have been helpful in making new connections, it would have been helpful in expanding our portfolio and our experience with working with city government. So yeah, there was a lot riding on that. Um, you know, in the past few weeks leading up to this, I've been like meditating, I've been praying, I've been trying to really get into a mindset of if we get it, then great. If we don't get it, then this wasn't the opportunity for us. Or, you know, looking at this as a learning lesson, no matter what the outcome is. And so now that the outcome is that we did not get it, there could be two ways to look at this. One is to allow me to focus more on what I'm doing now, like the work that I have now. So the time that would have went to the police contract can now go into developing and perfecting the processes and the systems in place to deliver high quality products to the clients we already have. Or there's another opportunity coming this year that is better for us, that is allows for more uh, growth in different ways. But like who knows, it could have gone great, it could have gone horribly. So yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm not too concerned about not getting this. Um, I think though, I do want an avenue to make more money. Um, so I'm going to be looking into other opportunities or other ways to do that. But um, I think it gives me a little bit more freedom, a little bit more flexibility with the work that I do. So yeah, that, those are kind of my immediate thoughts. So right now I'm just meal prepping, having some stuff either for dinner tonight or later this week. All right, this is simple color blocking. You know what I'm saying? We got the white Levi, black hat, white shirt, black vest, a little wrist action. You know, simple, effective. I would normally wear different pants in this, but we're going to the movies and it's going to be dark and potentially cold. So I'm just wearing something more comfortable, but you know, there's always an opportunity to look good. All right, so Lexi just came in. So and action. Basically, I think if we start vlogging all of our conversations, then we will then become rich. That's what I'm saying. Just based off of the vlog. I think people watching us struggle. <laughs> yes. Would be... Relatable? Relatable, <laughs> yeah. All right, Mike, we're here down under. We're going to see some crocodiles. You don't see them right now, but I promise you, they're around. You just got to splash the water a little bit. shots we need for this Nike commercial we've been working on that for the past few months so this should be the last thing that we need I bought these glasses from guess yeah these glasses were way cheaper than the ones that sunglasses had got done working out about to hop in the shower get ready um we have a rebuild shoot today some b-roll some drone shots um so i'm gonna try to film that see kind of what that process is like 
there's not too much left. Like I wanna start editing some of these videos, get that together. I wanna try to post on Sunday um, for this full first week. I think this weekend will be mainly relaxing. So Charles is coming up this week um, for the weekend. So we're likely gonna hang with him. My schedule may get more hectic in the coming weeks. So I'm trying to like squeeze in all of the fun and relaxation I can in, in the next two weeks. Yeah, really, really a chill day for the most part. I mean, the samosa was a little dry, <laughs> but I think that's to be expected, low key. You know, because all we would have like peas, dry, potatoes, dry. Okay. <laughs> the the pastry itself is dry. Yeah. Mm. Aside from that, I'll drink some drinks. <laughs> and anybody who know me, you already know what I'm getting to drink. Lay Meridian. So. Lay Meridian. We're gonna see Joe. Joe, okay. Best bartender um, on that side. I can't say period because you know I know too many bartenders. Right. <laughs> I'm about to get myself canceled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, it's Saturday. Um, I'm stopping by the Chatterblast office to pick up a check. So I spent a good bit of time this morning editing the video from all the days this week. Wednesday, I didn't um, vlog at all that day. I didn't think I vlogged too much Friday. Um, but even with those few days missing, I still have a lot of footage and I'm realizing how long this could take to, like how much work it is to edit these things. Um, oh snap, oh, I gotta do my accounting now, but yeah, it's a lot of work to edit how I want to edit and to kind of keep a flow and to keep things moving. Yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna make video, I don't think I'm gonna vlog every day like I was doing this week or almost every day, but I'm definitely gonna start vlogging a few days a week with specific topics um, and try to edit those later that night so I can get a good head start so I'm not just doing it all on like a Saturday or Sunday. Um, but yeah, this check here is more than I thought it would be, which is great. Um, so I may be able to buy my FPV drone that I've been talking about. I'm trying to create more content. I've been trying to create more drone content, behind the scenes content on both my personal channels and my business account. And so I just posted earlier today a BTS of me flying a drone. So I think getting a new drone would be helpful just to keep that branding up, keep uh, it relevant, refine my skills, and hopefully, you know, bring in more clients, bring, get more eyes on the skills I have. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be excited. I'm definitely excited for FPV drone. I've been like craving it for the past few months. I think there's some great work that I will be able to do with that. I feel like it will be uh, time consuming to get the hang of it before I start really doing it, using it on professional shoots. But I'm excited to learn this is a perfect weather for it so yeah stay tuned i've been thinking a lot about videos for next week so 
I'm very excited to kind of keep this content going. Hopefully you've enjoyed sort of just taking a peek into sort of what my week tends to be like. This week was, like I said, a little slower. So maybe there's weeks coming that I can kind of do this again where there's more things happening to really show like what an average week is like. All in all, I'm really doing this to have an accountability partner, which would be whoever's watching. Um, even if no one's really watching, the fact that I'm putting it out in the world is enough for me to kind of stay accountable. This is also to see my progress when it comes to my mental health, when it comes to my physical, spiritual health. So far, like just talking to the camera is like a great way to kind of just express myself or just re say out loud what I'm thinking that I really don't have too much time to process my thoughts during any given day because things are just moving so fast. But having a camera here, being intentional about creating content is helping me sort of recall like the actual little details throughout my day, which is helpful. If you have any ideas for videos that you would like to see me do, I think I want to start doing more lifestyle content, fashion content, career content, what's it like to live in Philly content, and really just be on this upward trajectory and kind of having a reset now that I'm a little bit older in life and feel like I've been in business for five years. I kind of have a little bit more knowledge to go off of than I have in the past. So I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, so I'm going to catch this check and then kind of see what else. Maybe get some ice cream, go back home, um, have a chill night.